Hex is an AI-powered notebook-based data workspace that makes it easy for anyone to answer questions of their company's data, and then share the insights out as beautiful, interactive data apps that anyone on their team can use. So I'm here in a Hex project, and I'm just gonna get started by asking my question to Hex's magic AI. Magic analysis is gonna pick up with a plan incorporating metadata from my DB2 instance and my data warehouse to not only semantically parse the meaning of my question and map it to the right tables, but also to just be able to get the join keys right. It'll write this SQL query, and then Hex can actually do something called chain SQL, where it can write SQL queries against the output of previous queries. Here, we're using that pattern to build a fairly complex query without having to write clunky and hard to debug CTEs. Hexmagic can also create charts, and here we've built a chart cell that's immediately interactive and that I can explore further by hand. Because all of this AI-generated work is happening in the notebook, it's easy for me to jump in here and tweak things by hand or customize work further. Okay, so this was a great start. I'm going to add a little bit of explanatory text here. I can do this with a text cell. Hex has a bunch of different cells for everything from maps to inputs, but we'll add a text cell for now. And you can see that my copy and pasted text says this is a forecasting tool, so I guess we better build a forecast. Let's add a new section for that. And again, I'm gonna rely on Hex's magic AI to help me build this forecast. I'm gonna just ask for what I want. Let's build a two-year forecast of our revenue. The really cool thing is that now, Hex's magic analysis is gonna be able to use all of the prior work in this project as additional context, in addition to all of the DBT and warehouse metadata. So here we're writing a SQL query that's querying that monthly rolling average data frame from above. We don't have to write new queries to the warehouse or redo work. We're working with all of the context from the notebook. Here it's using the profit library to make a super simple predictive forecast, and then making me a beautiful chart that again, it's easy for me to interact with and tweak by hand, roll up by month here. Let's make this prediction interactive with an input parameter. I'll add a months to forecast number input here, and then I can take that and immediately parameterize my make future data frame function to make this forecast user dynamic. You might have noticed that when I reran that input parameter, only a couple cells re-executed. I'll do it again, and you can see that only the two downstream cells of that input parameter executed. Hex powers its notebook with a reactive graph-based execution model that makes it incredibly fast and never wastes compute time rerunning cells that don't need to be run. Okay, this analysis looks great. It's time for me to turn this into something that I can actually share out with my team or stakeholders, and I'll jump over to the app tab to do that. Hex has already auto-generated a pretty good stab at a beautiful app here. It has all my elements from the notebook and it's easy for me to drag and drop and resize them to look just right. And I can actually interact with and tweak any of the elements right here from the app view. So let's say I'll change this axis to be just revenue so it's a little cleaner. I need to go back to the logic in the notebook to do that. I can change this months to forecast label to be a little more professional. And I'm not limited to just little tweaks. I can actually add completely new cells and redo entire analyses right from the app builder view. Here, I know that there's this plot plotly function in profit that will show confidence intervals on a nice chart, but I don't remember the syntax, so I'm just gonna ask Magic to help me do it in a new Python cell. And just a few seconds later, I get exactly what I was looking for, and I'll run this, and it's already right in my app, right where I wanted it to be. I'll drag this around and resize it, and this all looks perfect. And I could add some interactivity here with filters. So admins or editors of apps can select elements to tie together with auto-configured filters. So I'll select a few elements here. And rather than have to pick and choose the mapping of all these fields, Hex automatically maps all of the data frames and fields together. So I could just select one of these fields and it would all auto-configure. I'm actually not gonna do that and we'll see why in a moment. So I'm gonna back out of here We'll reorganize this app into tabs. Hex lets you turn your single page apps into multi-page tabbed apps, which is a really neat way to organize complicated apps without being constrained into any particular layout. This lets you build things like appendices, multi-page apps, um, blend a read-write app with a dashboard, the sky's the limit. Okay, I'm gonna publish this and I'll share it out with my team as well so that they can view it. And after a second, 
I'll publish. And now I get a URL that anyone can use to access the live, up-to-date, completely interactive results of this data work. Anyone viewing this can filter down the data set. And remember when I said that I wasn't gonna set up those filters earlier? Well, it doesn't matter because all hex apps are filterable by default. The user can choose a time range or a specific selection, and it will automatically map all the similar data frames and perfectly cross filter the app without me having had to configure anything. Users can also drill into the underlying data that powers any element on an app and explore further to get a completely interactive exploration interface that lets them tweak the chart, add new lines to it, explore the tabular data. Um, and if an exploration really takes off and you're going down the rabbit hole, you can open it in a new project and get all of the upstream SQL and code cells necessary to reconstruct this explore in a totally new hex project where you can do further AI enabled or manual data work. That's the power of Hex and Hex's magic AI. I can't wait to see what you build with it.